I'm Laurel Toby, and welcome to Media Bistro's Media Beat. We're here today with the knots, Carly Roney. And she's going to strip down. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's hot in here is what she's saying. It's, it's 110 hot degrees in here, here. So take off all your clothes. You first. Yes. So we have a few questions for uh, Carly prior to the Media Bistro Career Circus. My first question. Yes. Tell us all about how you came up with the knot yourself, all by yourself. Yeah, not exactly. <laughs> What's odd is that everyone always says, like, oh, were you all into weddings? I was like the exact opposite. I was not into weddings at all before we started The Knot. In fact, I'd just gotten married. And when the four of us, I had two, three other partners I found in The Knot with my husband, uh, David Liu, and then Michael Wolfson and Rob Ficino, we all knew each other from film school. We were sitting around trying to brainstorm an idea, and one of them said weddings. And I was like, oh, God, no. <laughs> I just got married, and the industry was such a nightmare, and everything was just impossible to find, and it's so outdated. And and uh, we walked away that day from that meeting and I thought, you know, maybe that's exactly what would make this a good business because weddings are so completely out and uh, need in serious need of an upgrade. And so we brainstormed a little bit more and then actually our original thinking of a company was to create a content studio Ooh. of which weddings was going to be the first plan, you know, the first big launch. And then after that, like six months after, we thought we were going to go into home and then babies and things like that. Well, it took a little bit longer than six months to get to the next ones, but that was really the, 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 the true impetus. What do you think it was about the knot that, that made people feel connected to it and continue to connect to it after a decade? That's amazing. Well, it's very interesting. One of the first decisions we had to make was about the brand. And uh, our original financing was from AOL. They were our, our partners. And they really wanted us to call the company uh, Weddings.com. <laughs> and we went in, we were like, no, 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 it's the knot. And they were like, no one's going to get it. Because it was then all about like where you were in the list box. And like, no one's going to look for weddings under T. And, uh, but we fought long and hard because we said it's not about being Weddings is about being, you know, something cooler and fresher. And uh, it was about not just being on the internet, but being in magazines and books. And the Weddings.com magazine didn't, wasn't really going to make sense. So we fought really hard and just decided to go for it. We'd rather go down in flames uh, <laughs> than, uh, than have such a bad name. And so I think it's really the brand because it took you a second to get it, yeah. but once you got it, you never forget it. And also, it sounded like something cool, and people wanted to tell each other. It sounded like a secret place. So people, anytime anyone got engaged, they'd say, oh, have you heard about this place called The Knot? You've got to go there. It's a cool little place. And the yeah. internet, you have to remember, the internet was also new at the time. So to tell someone about a secret site. Uh, so that really, I think, propelled us. People were, had a great relationship with the site because it was also, the attitude was very... Friend, like your big sister was telling you what to do, not your mom or a right. scary old wedding planner. Uh, and so I think that people thought it was cool and fresh yeah. and fun, yeah. and they wanted to be a part of it and to tell other people about it, to be the first, you know. So it really caught on. We never spent a dime on marketing, in fact. Weddings are such a big business, obviously. Um, I'm sure competitors are attracted to the space. Yes. How do you stave them off? Well, um, fortunately, uh, they're, you're, we're so far ahead. I mean, not to, we don't in any way rest on our laurels, <laughs> no pun intended. This laurel. <laughs> That's right. Um, but we really have always been at the cutting edge of this industry and have really great relationships and so are able to like move very quickly. We're still very entrepreneurially minded in our company. People move fast. They come up with ideas to see what's going on out there. And, uh, and we, you know, with 8 out of 10 people in the marketplace and not a single, you know, dollar of advertising to keep them coming, it has been, it's, it's sort of easy to spend our energy and focus creating a great product. Fabulous. Well, Carly, thank you very much for sharing a little bit of information, a little insider information about The Knot. I look forward to seeing you at Media Bistro Career Circus, and uh, thank you again. Stay tuned for our next segment with Carly Roney, again, talking about career.